This is Doris from the Palo Alto City Library, and today I'm going to show you how to turn some water bottles into some spooky Halloween planters. We're going to need some empty water bottles, some scissors, X-Acto knife, Sharpie, and some paint, as well as something to mix your paint on and some paint brushes. We're going to start off with our pumpkin, so I'm just going to trace the shape of a pumpkin with a little stem on the lower part of my water bottle. So in this next part, we're going to be cutting the water bottle using our X-Acto knife and scissors. If you're a child, please go and get an adult for help with this. What I like to do is use the X-Acto knife to puncture the bottle so that I can get my scissors and then make more precise cuts around the bottle. Once you have your bottle cut out, it's time to paint. Since I don't have orange paint today, I'm just going to mix my red and yellow acrylics together to make some orange. Before I apply the orange, I'm just going to give my bottle a quick coat of white paint. This helps the orange appear a little bit more vibrant when I apply it later. Once this first coat is applied, I'm just going to let it air dry or you can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. Once that's fully dried, we're now ready to apply the orange paint. I'm just going to finish applying the orange all around the outside except for the stem and then probably let that dry and apply another coat. So this is how our little pumpkin planter is looking after the second coat was applied. Next I'm going to move on to the stem and paint that green. To get this to be opaque we're probably going to need two coats as well so I'm just going to paint it, let it dry and then do another coat of green on top. Next, we're going to give our little pumpkin some leaves. I'm just going to give these leaves another coat of green. Once that looks good, we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start with two white circles for the eyes, and then once that paint has dried, I'm going to go in with my black paint, or you can use a Sharpie to add some expression to the face. Ta-da! We've completed our pumpkin. Next, we're gonna move on to our cat, so I'm just going to draw some cat ears and wrap the line around the bottle where we're gonna cut. Again, you'll want to get an adult's help for this next part. We're using our X-Acto knife to puncture the bottle, and then from there we're going to cut out the shape. Once you have your bottle cut out, it's time to paint. We're going to be using some black paint for our cat, and I'm just going to apply my first layer all over the outside of the bottle. We're going to let that dry completely and then go and apply our second layer so that we can get an opaque black. Once the black paint is dried, we can start working on the cat's face. I have some green paint here that I'm going to use for the cat's eyes. Another option if you're finding it difficult to paint on the ridges of the water bottle is to use construction paper to cut out the shapes for the face. I'm going to add a little pink nose to my cat and some more details to the eyes and whiskers. You can decorate your bottle however you like, just make sure to let the different layers dry before painting. Lastly, we're going to make a googly-eyed monster, starting with our bottle cut already and then adding some purple paint to the outside. 
once we've applied our first coat, I'm just going to set that aside to dry and then we're going to apply our second coat. Once the paint is dry, the last step is to add googly eyes. You can add as many as you want and wherever you want. And that's it! We made three different Halloween characters from old water bottles. I think it's time to give them some plants. Thanks for joining me for this Halloween edition of Crafternoon. I hope you go and make some fun things with your old water bottles. It could be a witch, a ghost, vampire, whatever you like. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more fun videos. We'll see you next time. Bye!